Okay, now that we've set up all our classes and downloaded all our files, it's time to make our program actually do something. So the first thing we're going to set up is we're going to make each one of these classes, except for the drum set, show up when we press a key. The way this program works is that each one of these uh, pieces of our drum set is a red version that will fit on top of it to show the player that we're playing it. So when I press a key, this object will show up on the screen look like right on top of its other piece, make it look like it's highlighted, play its sound, and then it will get off the screen. So let's do that. The first step in doing that is we need to go into our drum world and work with the keyboard. So in the drum world class, we're going to create a new method. And to do that, we're going to go right below private void prepare and create a method here. The kind of method we're going to make is the act method. So we're going to write public void act. We're going to add two parentheses and two curly braces. So right here, these two parentheses say that act just happens, it doesn't need any parameters, and these are the curly braces where the code for the method goes. We have to call this method an act method so that it happens automatically all the time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use an if statement. So we're going to say if, and then in parentheses, greenfoot.isKeyDown. And that method there checks to see if a certain key on the keyboard is being pressed. So now what we'll do is in parentheses and quotes, we'll put the letter on the keyboard that we're going to work with. So I'm using A. See how this parenthesis is lit up? That's showing us that these two work together and that this parenthesis doesn't have a pair. So we need one more. Now once I press A, what I want to have happen is I want one of these classes to show up on the screen. I'm going to work with drum 1. So when I press A, drum 1 should show up over here. So to do that, what I need to do is I need to say add object, and then in parentheses I want a new drum 1, parenthesis, parenthesis, and a comma. I very much so need to check my spelling here, make sure that this name drum 1 is spelled exactly as the class name over here. Then I need the coordinates where I want it to appear. All the images are sized 800 by 600, so they fit perfectly within the world. So I'm going to use 400 and 300 to put it on the screen, so it's exactly in the middle. 400 for the X and 300 for the Y. Close the parentheses and add a semicolon after it. So now if I press Compile and I go out to my screen, all right, if I press Run and test it, if I press A, then my drum set here shows up. Okay, So what we want to do here is we'd want to compile our program or restart our program, go, through our, go to our world, and we want to add all the keys that we would want to make our parts of our keyboard show up. So I'll leave that part to you. You can pause the video and come back when you're done. Right? The next step after that is we actually need that drum to play. So what we'll do is we'll go to that class and what will happen is when that drum one shows up on the screen we want it to play a sound so to do that we should go up top and create a field called um, green foot sound and the sound and it's just creating a sound so we'll call this to be drum one and that's going to equal a new green foot sound and then in parentheses and quotes we need to put the exact file name of the sound we want to play. So if we go to our Greenfoot project folder and we look right here in our drum set and then sounds, the sound I want to play is drum one sound and it's a dot wave file. So I'm going to type that exactly in here. Drum one sound dot wave. And then I'm going to close the quotes, close the parentheses, and add with a semicolon. Now, to play this sound, I want it to play when it's on the screen. So in the act method of drum1, I'm going to put drum1.play, parentheses, parentheses, semicolon. I call the sound by playing this name. This is the name of the sound. So if I compile that, we have no errors. We go out to the, our screen, compile everything, press run, and when I press A, as long as that class is 
comes on the screen, that drum sound is going to play forever. I only press A once. So now we need to kind of edit this a little bit. We need to get this guy off the screen so the sound doesn't play. So we'll fix that in the drum one class. And what we'll do is we'll create a counter to get rid of that. To do that, we're going to need an integer. So we'll go public, whoops, public int counter. And I know that 20 is about what I need. You're going to have to test this out if you're using your own sounds. So we're going to have a counter that counts down to zero. And when it hits zero, we're going to get rid of this object on the screen. So to do that, again, we want it to happen all the time. So we'll go into our act method. And we'll say if counter is less than zero, so our counter is going to count down, what we could say is get world. We have to get the world before we can remove an object. And then in parentheses, we need to tell the Greenfoot what object to remove. And that's pretty easy. We want to remove this one. So we write this. So we have our code to remove it if the counter counts down. Now we really just need some code to count down. So up here, we just do some math. We can say counter equals counter minus one. So what's going to happen here is the drum sound is going to play, the counter is going to count down. When the counter is less than zero or all the way down, it's going to remove the object. So if I compile this, come back out and test it by pressing A on my keyboard, my drum should show up, play the sound, and disappear. And it's just that easy. Now, I kind of cheated a little bit because I knew that the counter had to be 20 for that, but it works. So now what we need to do is go through all our classes except for drum set. And we need to we can basically copy and paste this code. However, the Greenfoot sound is going to change, and as is the sound here, and everything else can be the same. So now I'm gonna leave you here with leave you here, go through and create all the sounds and the counters in all your classes.